Every Sunday, Queen Latifah stars in The Equalizer here on CBS. She plays Robin McCall, a former CIA operative who now is fighting for justice. Robin may appear to be a single mom raising her daughter, but some know her as a guardian angel who helps people with nowhere else to turn as The Equalizer. Robin often turns to character Marcus Dante for guidance. Marcus is an NYPD detective and played by actor Tori Kittles. He is here with us this morning to share what's coming up on the show's winter season premiere. We can't wait this Sunday. It's uh, so good to see you. So good to see you. Thank it's you so much for having me. It's been wonderful to watch your character's relationship with Queen Latifah. Tell us how that's evolving. Oh, well, we started out on a very rocky road. <laughs> yes, you know, we yeah. didn't always see eye to eye. <laughs> but when we come back this Sunday, February 19th, uh, we get to walk a, a little closer to each other. You know, oh. people have been, we've been off air for a minute, and we've been getting accosted by fans going, oh, when you know are that. you coming back? Including so we will me. be back. You too, yeah. <laughs> so we'll be back this 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 Sunday, you know, February 19th on CBS and Paramount streaming. So you can check us out. We come back with a very intense episode uh, where we get to focus on Mel's character a little bit. We get into her family and uh, and her brother's abduction. Uh, Robin comes to. Dante seeking advice sort of the tables have turned because I normally would go to her uh, for advice and now she's coming to me so uh, things are heating up on the equalizer yeah the Sunday's episode is called he ain't heavy so he we're gonna heavy. take a look okay. right now so what's up this doesn't feel like a case no actually it's about Mel she's been trained in Delilah and self-defense although expressly for baby ouch should have put a shot of whiskey in that coffee. I mean, she's my best friend. Hell, she's like my sister, but the fact that she would go behind my back like that. Feels like a betrayal. And I'm trying to move past it. So you're willing to throw that kind of friendship away because of one mistake? It's not a mistake. It's my daughter. No doubt. You know, a wise woman once told me that the only person you hurt by holding a grudge is yourself. He's talking about your father. That's different. You're right. Friends are the family we choose, which is why this hurts even more. Oh. <laughs> you know, we've watched the two characters grow closer. Mm -hmm. And um, do you approve of the methods uh, that Robin is using. I, I'm curious as to what you're thinking this season. Oh, wow. Give us their, a hint. Uh, their relationship has evolved so much. So when they first started, when they first came in contact with each other, he was absolutely not on the same page as Robin. And, and over the course of the last couple seasons, he's actually come to to respect her a lot and how she does things. And he also relies on her a lot. Um, so so yeah, I think um, they are on a different a different page now. Last season was a difficult time for your character. Can you talk about what happened and where he is now? Well, you know, it's, it's the thing that happens when the people that you're supposed to trust turn on you. Dante was kidnapped by, by some cops. Um, and so it sent him down a very dark turn. These are some of the things that he's still dealing with uh, as, as the character has progressed. Um, and so he's been working through that and she's been helping him work through that. You know, and can I just say how amazing Queen Latifah is? Incredible. The I fact mean, that I get to work with her. So talented. I was wondering what you enjoyed most about the show and wondering if that was uh, it. The yeah. cast, the cast, yeah, really. Yeah. Queen Latifah leads an incredible cast. Rain Tucson, Adam Goldberg, Lisa LaPera, Leah, De Leah DeLeon Hayes. We just have an amazing cast and crew. Um, you know, everybody shows up for each other, and, and it's that family environment that, you know, it makes going to work, not going to work. It's like something that you just love to do. So it's a dream job for me. I'm sure they say the same about you. I so hope so. Talented I hope so. so much going on in your world, too, not just with The Equalizer, but please tell us about your new movie. I'm so thrilled for you. Oh, thank you. Yes, I, I have a film, Among the Beasts, that uh, it, it opened last Friday, February 10th, in select theaters. It's also on Amazon and iTunes. You can get it right now. It's about a, a former soldier dealing with some PTSD who teams up with a gangster's daughter to go after a kidnapped little girl. Um, we wanted to explore uh, what it would be like in real time to to lose a loved one and, and how would you go about getting a lead and what would you do morally if you came face to face with the people that took your loved one. Um, we had the really great fortune of some real 
combat veterans opening up their world to us and so we spent some time with them and and they told their stories so generously told their stories and some of their stories actually ended up in the film and it gave the film such a gravity and authenticity so among the beasts you can check it out right now it's a, it's a I mean when you think about it, just so deeply intense and emotional and so fitting for this time when we're dealing with that emotional trauma that people are going mm -hmm, through. Mm -hmm. So you really delve into that in this movie. Yeah, we really went deep with this one. It really was because of what those soldiers gave to us. You know, some of them were Vietnam veterans, some were Afghanistan, and, and they were all still carrying battle scars, you know. And it's something that you, it, it reminds you of what the cost is for going to battle and what we ask our soldiers to do and how you deal with your demons. I think heroes are just everyday people who sacrifice for the greater good of someone else. And, and all of our soldiers are heroes. And so, but that, that comes with a cost. You know, laying your, your life on the line comes with the, with the cost when you come back into, you know, civilization. Um, and so, um, so, you know, just really, I, ha I can't say enough about the veterans who opened up to us to make this, this movie possible. Well, thank you for bringing it to the screen. Really appreciate thank that. Thank you. And so, so glad that you could come in and thank you for having this me. morning. Thank you for having me. the new season. Thanks so much for joining us. And you can watch The Equalizer on Sundays at 8 p.m. on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus.